Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is feeling quite apathetic. This person is definitely not open to opportunities that are being presented to them. Um, we're seeing someone here who is essentially emotionally unavailable. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And the five of pentacles in the reverse earth energy so definitely there is a situation here where you could be freeing yourself there's this energy of losing interest in something that doesn't serve you anymore um there is this energy of um valuing yourself more you know it's like this you're working on yourself you're choosing yourself with the eight of pentacles there's this energy of prioritizing things that actually make you better um there could be someone here who in the past may have rejected you um, left you out, ghosted you, in some way it discounted you. Um, and with the five of pentacles being the reverse, it's like you've recovered from that. There's this energy of you no longer waiting for this person's approval, no longer waiting to be accepted by this person. Instead, it's like you're feeding into your own cup. There's this energy of giving to yourself, freeing yourself. You're no longer at someone's um, mercy or control. With the Eight of Swords in the reverse, it's again, it's that energy of realizing that um, you are more powerful than you were letting on. There's this energy of coming out of victimization or um, abandoning a victim mindset. So it, there could be this energy of you no longer being interested in someone's cup. Perhaps this person took too long. Um, this person could have let you down or disappointed you one time too many. And there's just this energy of you it's like they're offering you something and it's so small and you're not you're not accepting it you know your worth you know that you deserve better so there's just this energy of saying no thank you to someone here who's offering you something that is way less than what you deserve so let's clarify these cards scorpio at the bottom of the deck we have the hand man in the reverse and this is pisces energy so this is getting a new perspective it's like in the past you may have been you had some sort of tunnel vision when you came to this person because it's like this person may have been giving you crumbs and you were accepting or receptive to it you know it's like being in this box this eight of swords energy um a lack mindset it's like you could have accepted less than in the past and it's like you've come to this realization that you deserve more and it's like you're not open to it this time around there's just this energy of passing something up something that at some point you may have thought you wanted but now it's being offered to you and you're rejecting it in some way you're you're, you're not interested and with the hanged man in the reverse there's again that energy of not waiting on someone anymore not being at someone's mercy anymore it's like taking back your power so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So definitely this person sees you as being guarded towards them, being defensive towards them, standing your ground, defending yourself. Um, this person does see you as someone who may have other opportunities. You may be entertaining new opportunities. Um, it's like they are 
becoming aware of the fact that they're losing some sort of grip that they had on you. This person feels like you're freeing yourself in some way or that you're prioritizing yourself or other responsibilities. And with the Eight of Pentacles, again, we're seeing someone who is focusing on bettering themselves. Um, so it's like this person, it's almost like um, they excluded you in the past. You know, they didn't welcome you at their table. And instead of waiting for them to welcome you at their table, you went and you built your own table. So this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as someone who is you know, standing up for themselves, um, standing your ground, choosing your own independence, going your own way, almost like you're, you're rebelling against them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. So the cards is balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Okay, so there's definitely this energy of no longer seeing someone or a situation through rose-colored glasses, but rather being more practical about how you view the situation. There is just this coming out of that hanged man, that Pisces energy. You know, there's just this energy of you coming very practical, looking at a situation more realistically. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So there's definitely this energy of protecting oneself and um, releasing something, not holding on to something anymore. Um, there's just this, this energy where you're coming across as freeing yourself. With the Eight of Swords in the reverse especially, there's just this energy of not trying to force anything with someone. Um, but instead, it's like you're becoming more self-focused. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. Okay, so the card says... Dignity. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. So definitely you're, you're very dignified. This person is looking at you as someone who's having the most self-respect, choosing yourself, honoring yourself and not settling for less. There's just this energy of you holding yourself in high regard, having that, you know, picking yourself up from a situation where someone tried to make you feel or appear to be undignified in some way. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.